Welcome back everyone, Broadbent here. Today we're back in the forest on day 161 of our survival. Today, I think what I really want to do is work on a little bit of a, a transportation system between bases. I've noticed a lot of comments pointing out um, a zipline system going from this base to another, I'm not sure which one. I think that's a really good idea. Maybe I could make a little hub in the center. So yeah, I think that's what we're working on. So this zipline system will take a lot of planning. So currently I'm at the top right half of the map. Now the island base is all the way at the bottom left. Is that little island that you can see? That's the island base. K base is in the bottom middle, way below the sinkhole. So I'm thinking almost like I want the hub to be over the sinkhole. I don't really want to rebuild the sinkhole base, but I think that would actually make sense. Um, I'm going to head down there now. I think there's another spot just on the corner of the sinkhole that will do nicely. Hello, Crocky. Ooh. Okay, so we're down at the sinkhole, and I think I want the hub, like the center of all the zip lines, to be just at the top of this right here. It makes the most sense. It's high up. It's in the middle of the map. I think I like that location quite a lot. It's a little bit far out considering where all the locations of my bases are, but I think that will still uh, serve the purpose. So we're going to choose up there. Now, there's something that I need to test. Because it's uphill, I need it's a two-way zipline system for each base that I'm going to be building. So I've got to, be fi I've got to find a way to get uphill with the ziplines. So I've actually got a zipline there already. So what I'm going to do is do a little bit of testing here and see if I can figure something out. In fact, I don't need to do that. Say, for example, we're starting over at the fort and we want to get to the hub. What we'll do is just slowly lower down the foundations one by one all the way here. So we won't actually get to the point where we're this low down. It'll just slowly go down until we reach this level. I think that makes the most sense. I'm telling you now, this is going to cost a lot of logs. Okay, so let's say the hub's gonna go right here, smack bang in the on the edge of the sinkhole. I kind of like this location because anyway, we can look down into the sinkhole. Really good. So what I'm gonna do is use the paths here to carve away all the way to each of the bases. This is gonna take quite a while, um, but I think it will do. In fact, the first thing I should do is build the hub. Yeah, there we go. I think that'll do. That should be at the right height. And I chop down all these trees and clear out the area so the cannibals can't climb up onto it. So I'm just clearing out the cave here to get the extra pieces of cloth. Uh, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Hold on. Let me get the flashlight out. Okay, that's better. And take you on. Mashing with a katana is probably just a little bit safer than using the bow in this situation. Because they can jump at me. I'm just taking it easy here. Okay, one down. And both dead. So I've got a decent amount of cloth right here, 137 and two pieces of rope. Uh, it should be enough to complete a few zip lines. So I'm going to head over back to probably the, uh, the the fort and then start building some zip lines from there. In fact, first, let's head to the hub once again. So let's finish off the hub foundation. Oh, actually, I should probably cancel this. Um, so what I did is laid out a bunch of zip lines to see how far and how many zip lines I would need to get to each base. I've only done it for the, the fort for now, um, but I think it was three or four zip lines in total, which is mental. That's like half the map. Uh, crazy. So I think I'll be able to afford one of these today at least. I'm going to cancel this one in here. Make sure I'm getting the right one. There we go. <laughs> that would have been bad. And let's finish off the foundation. There we are. Okay, cool. So now I need a way up there. I have no idea how to get up there. Maybe I can use this. <sighs> oh, that's close. There we go. Nice, cheap, simple staircase to get up. Oh, careful. So the first zip line I'm going to throw in right on the corner here, just to get it as far as possible. And we're going to bridge it all the way down to the bottom. So, as I said, I've laid out all the different zip lines that will cover the area. I'm worried that the two-way system isn't going to work. Each one's going to be like either one way or the other. 
but then maybe I could do both ways until a certain point. Okay, so right here, I need to build a pillar. Uh, I'm not sure how high it needs to be, but I definitely need to build one. Massively helpful, I know. Uh, I reckon that height will do. What do you think? So from there to here, uh, no, it needs to be higher. There. I reckon around about that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. How many is that? 24 logs. So let's finish off this support. What do we call these things? Struts? I feel like struts is the right word. Um, now what I need to do is put a rope on the side and start to add in the first zip line here. This could go horribly wrong, this whole thing. It could be a disaster and cost me a fortune to build, or it could go really well. I'm not too sure. There we go. So having the rope there is actually a good thing. So like if I'm walking across randomly and I came come across this, I can climb up and join the zipline system. I think that's a really good idea. So if I place the first point, the first one, right there. Uh, <laughs> um, right. How do I get down? Uh, you know what? I'm going to risk it. Oh, close. Okay. That's the first zip line in, and that is a really long one. Okay, um, I want it right in the corner, like that. Awesome. How many is that? 12 ropes. Not bad at all. There we go. First one's done. That, that, that feels really far away, doesn't it? Either way, let's just go for it. It's going to launch me off into the water. I know it is. Watch this space. <laughs> it's going to be so good when it's all done, and I can just go from one base to the other. <gasps> oh, that was perfect. Oh my god. So close. Alright, so the next one is over here, uh, way up on the hill. I'm going to start placing down the foundation for it, or the platform. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, I can probably get it to go further, to be honest. I think that's a decent distance, to be honest, though. So I can sort of use the angle of the rope to determine... Uh, yeah, I think there's a problem already. That goes down. And I'm actually supposed to be going up? Ooh! God, Crocky. What are you doing to me? Damn thing. Okay, hopefully I can place this next zip line on here. If I can't, we've got a slight problem. Okay, well, problem number two. Uh-oh, oh, oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. I wonder. Can I defend this thing? <gasps> you are the problem. Oh my god! How many? I'm out of arrows. Great. You know what? Uh, to the water. I just don't want to lose that structure, to be honest, so... I'm going to head away from this fight. Look how many there is. That's at least two groups. At least. Okay, let me head back. Hopefully, they've gone. I don't see them. Looks like we're in the clear. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's throw... Oh! Oh! So the reason that other... Yeah, because it is going up. You see that? I didn't build it on the top of here. God, I'm such a dumb dumb. Okay, so if I place down the zip line right here, I have to take damage every time I get down. It's kind of annoying. I wonder if I land on that. Okay, no. Oh my god, I'm really dead. <laughs> Damn. There we go. You see now the rope is definitely going down. Not going down as much as I would like, but definitely is going down. I'm going to have to back it up a little bit by the looks of it. Now I'm thinking that I'm not going to build a platform here. What I'm going to do is just have it so it'll launch me. I think I need to chop down those trees, don't I? Yeah, it looks like it. So it'll launch me forwards when I let go of the zip line, but to right here. And then I'll have to probably climb up to another zip line. There. I'm going to place that right there. So it brings me to here. What I can do is always just put a fence down so it stops me dead. And then I can just press E to get onto the next zip line. Oh my god, hello. Calm down. Uh-oh. I killed the woman and all the guys came. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh my god, there's more. I don't get a break with these guys lately. 
There's constantly like, I don't know, seven in a group? Just gotta kill a few though, and they should start to flee. Yep, all quiet. So I'm gonna use the zip line here. Hopefully, I can build a fence to stop me keep on going, like, you know, it launched me into the water. I wanna stop that with a fence. Hopefully, anyway, it's gonna launch me, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't really built the other one yet, so it kind of makes sense. Whoa. Okay. Oh, oh. oh my god, he's coming for me. He does not want to stop. Where are you going? Okay, well, I didn't realize that was the end of the build. Let's head back all the way to the hub and see if I can use this thing all in one go. Okay, well, that's a problem. Pfft, they're like... Next to the platform. Oh dear. <gasps> I think I'm gonna try and defuse the situation by simply making this cowman drown. I'm not gonna lie though, I could do with the armor. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, damn. Where's he going? Come on, get him. Get him. Ooh, headshot. Just don't damage my structure, okay? That's all I care about. Wait, what? How did you die? What? You were walking a second ago. Did you bleed out? Is that possible? What? What? She's gotta be down there, right? <laughs> I hear her, like, right below me. Oh! Yeah, I'm not messing with that. See you later. I've got the armor, that's all I care about. Now, this doesn't have any defenses, I know. Um, I don't think I need them, because I'm never really gonna be lingering here for longer than, like, I don't know, 20 seconds, so... I'm just gonna be deciding where I want to go. Like, this one, for example, I know leads straight to the fort. We're gonna have another one here, which will take me straight to the island base that way. Another one here, which will take me to the cave base. And I guess any other future project I can just add to this hub. It's gonna take a long time to build, I'll tell you that. Um, for example, this episode, I've only built, what, two? Don't launch me, don't launch me, damn it. So if I climb up here now, I'm gonna throw down a fence, which should stop me. There we go, that should do. Perfect. Hell yeah, I'm liking this, it's so much faster already. Also, I don't have to deal with any cannibals or anything like that. So nice. <gasps> okay, well, I spoke too soon. Awesome. I like that. So today was the beginning of a big project that is going to take a long time to build. It's not going to be a three episode build like the uh, the bunker was. This is definitely going to take some time. So I'm probably going to be doing this in between episodes, during episodes, chipping into it here and there, which is what I'm doing with all the projects in this world. You know, I'm just solo, solely like doing bits and bobs so I don't burn myself out with any projects and I get to choose what to work on. It's really nice. Alright everyone, so thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to press the like button, and if you're not already, subscribe to catch future videos just like this one. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.